When it comes to the centre of fashion, Milan is the place to see Italy at its most stylish. Seen in the streets of any town in Italy. The values of style and comfort are the same, only the astronomical prices serve as a sobering reminder that this is the shopping terrain of the glitzy, the glamorous and the very well heeled. Step up to the plate, a man who brings fashion to the fanatical follower thereof, Webb Makut, who has run the gauntlet of the trend-setting trade, from designer to model to the other side of the camera. When I was in Morocco, my father want, wanted me to be a dentist, but I said, no, I want, I want to leave for Europe. The first thing I wanted to do is to attend a photography school, but it was too late to get in this school, and I started working with a little fashion designer. So I got very interested in fashion design, and I started a fashion school. Part of this design course included training in the history of fashion, but he kept his eye on becoming a model. I started uh, testing with some photographers and finally I found an agency called Ugly People. <laughs> when they oh. told me, go to this agency, it would be perfect for you, I said, <laughs> Ugly People. <laughs> Ugly People. <laughs> so, uh, and then I started modeling around uh, with uh, 88. And immediately I uh, started getting interest in photography again. And so the circle was complete. Webb finally did what he'd set out to do, capture fashion on film. Our first location on the shoot with him was the 15th century Castello Sforzesco, which boasts a ceiling fresco done by da Vinci himself, and is home to Michelangelo's Rondanini Pieta, the unfinished fourth Pieta, his last work before retiring. Passers-by stop to stare at the lovely Fernando del Forno from Brazil donning a Dolce & Gabbana sequin skirt that retails for 6,000 rand and shoes that serve as pedestals for pretentiousness. Well, they certainly are practical. The theme for this summer is contrast and contradiction. Why? No one asks and no one dares query the gurus who have declared it so. But not everyone is impressed by that kind of price tag. You've got a very interesting uh, camera assistant that's busy oh. nibbling our shoes here. Yeah. What yeah. is her name? <laughs> My assistant, Gigi. She's part of the studio. Yes, this puppy certainly makes life in the business a wee bit easier. Milan is, I think, the best place uh, for a fashion photographer to start because it's too hard. The fashion Italian clients are just too, uh, too difficult. If a photographer succeeds somehow in Milan, then in the rest of the world, everything becomes just easy. Or a piece of cake, as we move to our next location, the Arch of Peace, a monument to honor Napoleon's victories and similar to the Arc de Triomphe and the Marble Arch in London. But once again, it's D&G's brightly contrasted garment that takes center stage, adorned by a Hungarian model who loves Milano. Beautiful, I love it. Uh, it's a beautiful city. I, uh, wow, people are great uh, uh, compared to the North American people. Susanna has been in Milan for just three weeks. Finding modeling work has been really difficult as there's so much competition. The glamour has faded very quickly. What she really wants to be is a teacher. I've always wanted to study Hungarian. Uh, uh, the language, that is. But back to fashion with shoot stylist Ricardo Slavic. Everybody else is preparing like something that's simple and, you know, wearable. Because that sells. And it's all about money. It's, you know, it's a business that's called fashion business. It's not art, you know. <laughs> Ricardo, you guys have just had the full winter fashion week in Milan. What's happening in the new season? Well, nothing new really. I mean, everything goes now. So you have everything. You have simple, you have, uh, you know, wild, you have uh, everything. Because nobody knows where fashion is going, because it's not really going anywhere. You know, everybody's copying everybody else, or copying the 70s or the 60s or the 50s in the same collection. So, like Dolce Gabbana, they put everything together, and it's fun but it, it doesn't really tell you anything. You know? It's just fun, it's just fashion, it's clothes. Anything goes. Just uh, choose your style and it will be perfect. 
Yet unlike the Parisian fashion scene, which concentrates on flamboyant, often outrageous new designs, Milan remains more understated and classical in its stylishness. Well-cut suits and elegant accessories line the shop windows of the enchanting shopping mall Galleria Vittorio Emanuele. In Italy, a shopper's pilgrimage to famous name boutiques 